Hey everyone, welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. On wrist today, I have quite a dramatic watch, a different watch, a conversation piece, uh, maybe a wild card piece or a guilty pleasure type of purchase that I'd like to share with you. And in doing so, I fully recognize this watch is not for everyone. It's not a daily driver type of timepiece, but you know what? I like to feature watches all across the spectrum. So uh, just be aware, this has a limited appeal, but to those that find this style of watch attractive, I think you are really going to enjoy this. So let's dive into it. This is called the Atowak Spaceship in Nebula Silver. Now it is a very dramatic, highly futuristic style timepiece that is anything but traditional. It has a Japanese movement within with a wandering hours modification. The crown is set up at the 12 o'clock position and will have a 13 component connection to the 9039. Miyota base caliber. Now the hours discs are crafted out of aluminum, so they are lightweight. They will be loomed. And that's one of the things that I really like about this Atowak spaceship is the generous application of superluminova. In fact, this almost looks cooler in low light than it does in natural light. I love how this sapphire crystal is, you know, it's faceted. It does have a barrel shape. And so there are a lot of areas for distortion to take place, and that is only highlighted in low light with that superluminova. So this looks absolutely fantastic in dark conditions. Now, if you are wondering how to read a wandering hours watch, I will demonstrate that now. It looks kind of complex, but it's uh, pretty simple, pretty easy to do. On the top portion of what you would call the dial of this watch is a disc, a skeletonized disc that is loomed, and this is your seconds indicator. So it will rotate uh, essentially at the same rate of a running traditional seconds hand, though there is no marker that will show you exactly which second of what minute it is. So you're not using this to time something to the second. It's merely an indicator to show you that the movement is running and uh, you know that's that's really all it's good for. Below that, there will be three different discs that show different hour markers. Now, uh, the only one that is important is the one that's facing this arced index track at the bottom portion of this pear-shaped dramatic case. So right now, that uh, hour marker is six, and it's pointing at the thirty. So the time would be six thirty. And then as that hour marker progresses, you'll be able to keep track of uh, the exact minutes. And again, you're not keeping track of something to the second. It's just a general indication of what time it is. Now, the second hand, when it gets all the way to the 60, the next hour marker that will be used as the index will be over by the zero, zero. And that becomes the one to watch. So seven, and then you continue with that, five, 10, 15, all the way till it gets through the 60 on that arc index track and so on and so forth. So the hours, uh, they rotate on a disc and then when it's their turn, you utilize them uh, to keep track of the minutes on that arc index track. So very simple, uh, but it's not the easiest complication to read uh, at a glance. I will say it does take an extra second or two to adjust to what minute it is, but it, it's very non-traditional, and that's the draw of this particular piece. Now let's go to the case. This shape is a flared pear style shape, and it has a very thick angled and barrel curved sapphire crystal with a very helpful amount of anti-reflective coatings on the underside of the crystal. And it's, uh, again, quite dramatic. And the shape is, is really what draws the eye in. I would say this is pretty similar to watches that I've handled from MBMF. I know a lot of watch collectors appreciate the high horology, the very custom time engines uh, that MBMF creates. And this very much follows that same type of design essence. It's out there. Obviously, it's not at the same level in terms of uh, finishing and complication and hand customization, but it, again, it falls into that similar category at a mere fraction of the cost. And I think that's going to draw in some watch collectors that want something like an MBMF Bulldog, uh, but do not want to spend nearly a hundred grand 
or so uh, for one of those conversation starter type of wildcard timepieces. This, on the other hand, at the mid $1,000 price segment with a similar look and obviously a nice execution, it does fill that void within the market. Now, continuing with the review, let's take a look at what you would call the dial. It is a copper coated dial with a deep Geneva stripe finish. On top of that, you'll notice the various wandering hours and whatnot. You will not see a traditional signature for the brand or the model name or a water resistance designation, which in this case is three atmospheres. No, all of that is found in different places of the watch, which I kind of like. The brand signature, Atowak, will be found within a recess in this dramatic flared case and it's kind of a ghosted engraving so it's really not dominant you look at this and you don't want to see a brand name or a model name or a water resistance designation you want to focus in on the design you want to focus in on the drama and the style the model name the spaceship is engraved in the case back near the exhibition crystal uh, through which you can view the movement and then the only other signature found on this watch will be in the polished deployant buckle on this premium FKM rubber texturized strap. Atowak is releasing five different color iterations. Some of them have uh, coatings on the case. Some of them have different colors for the indexing. So there is a good amount of selection from this brand. There are different strap options. And yes, these straps are easily interchangeable with a quick release system. So if you are interested, I will place a link to uh, Atowak's website. These will be dropping very shortly. I'll place all that information in the description of the video. But I want to mention one important thing if you're interested in buying this watch. It is there is a significant discount available if you are one of the first to uh, essentially order one of these watches. So you pay $50 and then Atowak will give you a $500 discount. Uh, it ends up taking quite a bit off the retail price. And I think if you, know, you want to buy one of these 300 piece limited edition watches, that is definitely the way to go. So again, all links will be in the description of the video. Let me know if you have any specific questions. I'll do my best to answer those questions. You can ask a question in the comment section. You can reach out to me directly via email. I'll place my email in the description. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or informative, please leave me a like. Please subscribe to my channel for more varied watch content. Thank you. secret scene here at the end of the video. If you've made it this far, you are one of the few and you may be interested in something that I don't advertise very often, and that is my Patreon group. Every month I do a giveaway for my Patreon members. I announce that giveaway within my private Discord server in which I am active daily. It's a nice little community. And in the coming couple months, I will do a giveaway of this exact Atowak spaceship in Nebula Silver. Uh, for those that are interested. So I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.